Hey, so I'm constantly finding ways to blow money on studio equipment because everybody knows the only way to make great content is by spending thousands of dollars. Anyways, once in a while, I find that I make a worthwhile investment on something cheap that is really helpful. This is one of those times. Check this thing out. This little hunk of metal and knobs and things is the Manfrotto 244N Magic Arm. And this little piece on the end here, this is the magic clamp. If you've ever tried any of the off-brand magic clamps or magic arms, uh, they probably only hold like, you know, one or two pounds. So if you put like three or four pounds on there, it starts to bend and fade. This thing is built like a miniature little tank. It can hold an absurd amount of weight and you can mount it in virtually any location really easily. Check this out. We're going to the workbench. All right, so let's say I wanted to mount this thing on this table somewhere, uh, which is pretty much no problem because it's got this handy little clamp right here. You just unscrew this clamp and boom. Tighten it down wherever you need it to be. It's just not going anywhere. And if you didn't feel safe having this like kind of dig into your table with that weird like bitey jaw part, there is a little triangle piece here. There we go, it just kind of snaps out. And it sticks right in here. There you go, it sticks right in there. That way you can have a flat surface attached to your table or desk or whatever flat surface you're mounting it on. Uh, but I personally just usually leave this thing off because I find that I just simply don't really need it. But what makes this little super clamp part really cool is you can also mount it to poles because of that indent there. So I can show you this on the pole in just a second, but I'm gonna show you some other ways that I've been using it. So getting around to the basic operation of this thing, basically once you have it mounted on to the table uh, or wherever you're gonna mount it, you just kind of loosen up this super easy to grab mega grip thing. The whole thing magically becomes loose and you can turn all the different directions, all the different ways. There's a ball here, there's a twist here, there's a, like a couple bearings that twist around here, there's a twisty part right there in the center, and then there's another couple twisty pieces over here. The whole thing spins real easy. Whatever, you just position it exactly the way you need it to be, and just tighten it up. And there you go. You're good to go. Let's mount a camera on there. So it's got this little pretty easy to grab knob portion there. I'm just gonna loosen it up, make it easy to mount stuff on there. Just gotta find the hole, screw it in. Now you just, you have it loose, just kind of point your camera wherever you want it to be. You want it to be right here and tighten it up. There, and now your camera is mounted and pointed wherever you need it to be, loosen it up. And we've got a perfect little desk setup right there. Check it out, I'll show you what it looks like. There, and now I can do stuff right there, make a nice little video. Hey, it's sweet lens cap, oh my gosh, it comes on the lens. Blah, 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 right? Hands and everything. And then when you're ready to go, you just take the whole thing, unscrew it real easy, boom, voila, you're out. Another kind of really neat thing about this super clamp portion is how easily it comes off. There's just a little button right here. Touch the button, pull it off, good to go. And the next question I would be asking myself is, but Tommy, how much weight can this thing really hold? Well, that's where I got surprised. I haven't hit the limit yet. It can hold a shit, a whole lot of weight. So, I mean like right now, this camera is basically levitating uh, over in this space right here. So my computer's over here. Uh, I don't really have room for a tripod down beneath where the camera is because I've got like equipment and my desk there and it's just all on the way. But with the Manfrotto 244N and the super clamp, you gotta see this. So this is actually just a little extra piece uh, that I ordered. So I can attach lights or other additional things to the super clamp or the magic arm. That just screws right in there. So we just attached the super clamp to a metal pole here that I have next to this uh, on the speaker. And next into the super clamp we have the magic bendy arm. The magic bendy arm comes up, is at this really weird kind of straight over angle from the pole. So we've got the Sigma 18-35, to the Viltrox adapter, the Sony body pack receiver, and the small HD focus on the GH5, all mounted to this magic arm in a lateral position on a pole. 
That is out of control. You can't do that with the cheap arms from China. You need to go with Manfrotto. This one's awesome. So truth be told, I actually bought two super clamps. I have the other one in my hand right here, and it's attached to my bendy arm, uh, which is another Manfrotto thing. Uh, and this one's actually super useful, although it can't hold as much weight as the super, uh, as the magic arm. This one holds a pretty good amount of weight. I usually use it to hold one of my background lights. There. Screw it in, hold it, and it holds all kind of great weight. Um, this light is probably like six or seven pounds around there. Um, I would say it can hold that much weight. Uh, it's probably its maximum because once you start going like straight lateral, like, so this is as far as it can go. Once you go a little bit more, then like the whole thing starts to bend a little bit and it becomes a little bit breaky. Um, but for what it is, like these weird uh, flexible bendy rods, uh, it holds a significant amount of weight. And especially like they'll be clamped to something, they won't be moving around or whatever. Uh, really, really useful for positioning lights or small cameras in places where you otherwise couldn't attach them to something, but this the clamp thing is just, it's freaking awesome. So I'll put links to all these components in the description of this video if you want to pick them up for yourself. Um, I would definitely check eBay. I usually buy used supplies on eBay because, I mean, it's just used and it's like half the price most of the time. But if you're one of those guys that just has to get everything new, uh, then, you know, whatever, more power to you. Thanks for watching me talk about these clamps and mounting supplies that I think they're really cool. Um, if you are new to my channel and you want to watch more of my videos, hit that subscribe button or don't. I won't know the difference. Have a good day.